early good morning currently 4 55 a.m we are a little bit steamed up due to the humidity right now yeah we are at alamo so yeah sorry you're steamed up we've tried wiping it a few times but it's not working so we just dropped off the car yeah i just want to talk about this sign here look aloha <laughs> so yeah we are in honolulu we're just about to head to the airport waiting for the shuttle it's a 3 a.m. wake up call this morning, so early. Early, our flight's at 7, so we've got like two hours to go. Yeah, um, we are way steamy right now. We're very steamed up, so I do apologise. <laughs> but um, we'll probably catch up with you guys in the airport. Good morning. Good morning. We are at Honolulu Airport in this amazing garden. Yeah. I'm absolutely loving this garden. I wish this was in Heathrow. So nice. <laughs> So yeah, we got to the airport, dropped the car off at Alamo really, really easy. Yeah, the shuttle was like two minutes. And the shuttle started at 5 a.m., didn't it? It's pretty yeah. much on the dot 5 a.m. Yeah, um, security here was not good. It was a long line, wasn't it? Yeah, really long. So like, we had TSA pre, and even that line was 20 minutes. So the main line was probably nearing 45 minutes to an hour. It's like yeah. one bit open. I was really shocked. I thought the airport this time in the morning would be quite quiet. No, it seems like they've got a couple of flights going out, which is crazy. So um, we're through now. Um, yep. We found our area, which is the E-Gate, and it's air conditioned, so it's really nice. <laughs> yeah. It's hot in the rest of the terminal. Yep. And yeah, so a quick update on our Airbnb. We didn't really talk about it. No. But so we had a good stay. Yeah. Um, we would, the location was fantastic, so really, really good for Kailua, which I think was our favorite area of the whole flight, yeah. Oahu we went to. And Danakai was just a bit further on, which was fine. Apart from Olani and Koalina, because that yeah. was absolutely lovely. So we are, um, I would definitely recommend the Airbnb, we'll link it below. The only two things that we kind of had gripes with, one was the bed, it was a sofa bed, we knew it was a sofa bed before we went. It was all right, but it wasn't the most comfortable bed. And then we did have issues with the barking dog, didn't we? Yeah, it's a very, the community where we were in was, there was a lot of dogs, and that's fine, because we both like dogs, but when they're barking beyond 10 p.m. or even 11 p.m., it kind of bothers your sleep. Yeah. And that was the issue for us. It was, uh, and at 6 a.m., the dogs were barking again, so yeah. that was just a problem. We're gonna walk in the terminal now. In the terminal now, not a lot yeah. here, but we might see if they've got Starbucks mug. Yeah, well, we've got the lovely Hawaiian music playing. Yeah, it's very um, air conditioned and chilly. Yeah, so we passed this on the way in um, when we first arrived, so we're going to see if they've got the, the Starbucks mug here. And just next door to Starbucks, you've got the Hawaii market. Oh, yeah. Very good. Oh, yeah. Very good. Very good. Very so you've got all the Hawaiian merchandise here. Can not leave without a Starbucks mug? <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. It's very Hawaiian. Yeah. <laughs> There's our plane to take us to LA. Okay. Going on the plane. Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome aboard American Airlines Flight 1480 with departing service to Los Angeles. The captain and command of the flight today is Jeff Altman, assisting him as first officer is Lawrence Otto. Our approximate flight time to Los Angeles today will be 5 hours and an altitude of 31,000. First things first, let's buckle those belts. Insert the metal end into the buckle and pull the strap to tighten. To open, simply lift on the top of the buckle. And remember, seatbelts should be fastened whenever you're seated, just in case of unexpected turbulence.
Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of your entire Los Angeles-based flight crew, it's been our sincere pleasure to serve you today, and we do hope to see you again in the very near future on another American Airlines flight. So we just picked up our car in LA, so we're just going to check for damage. I won't include the full video, but definitely go around your car and just check for any damage. Video it if you can. There's a Randy's Donuts over there. So cool, it's like proper LA. There it is. Donuts. Everyone. Hello. We're in LA. Yeah. In Greeted by traffic. Traffic. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we've been driving around half an hour so far. It's been pretty crazy. Crazy eventful. Yeah, for some dodgy areas. <laughs> but um, our flight was really good, American Airlines. We left early. Uh, the flight was fine. Last two hours were like quite rough, but someone didn't notice that. I managed to sleep through like major turbulence. I think you slept through the whole flight. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, Rich pretty much slept the entire flight. Um, I edited some vlogs and um, watched a movie. I haven't I watched now. I watched Aquaman again. I started yeah. watching The Nun and I, I couldn't do it. To be fair, I always, whenever we fly, I always say make sure you get some sleep, but you just can't. I just can't. Yeah. I don't know why. So yeah, we came out. Um, Bags came out fairly quick, not too bad. It's quite a long time. The, the like conveyor belt stopped and then, and then started up again. So we're like, thank God. Um, and then it was a nightmare getting the bus to Alamo. Crazy. It was just like there was just hordes of people like all around. Some um, angry people because I think some Alamo buses had gone past um, half empty and they just left them by the side of the road. So well, we scored pretty lucky. We pretty much turned up and we were the last people on the bus and they managed to get us on. Yeah. So it, we will always be honest about our experiences. We're not going to dress it up. We're just going to say how it is. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. great. But I think any any terminal where you have to get a shuttle bus is just it's just inconvenient, um, especially with luggage. So um, LA airport isn't our favorite airport. It's right up there with Miami. <laughs> it's very busy. You've got a lot of people standing around. A lot of the signage is not great. So just take your time. We were like, let's just take our time and we got there fine. Yeah. Um, got to Alamo and we did, because we did online check-in, we could literally just go straight to the vehicle, so no going up Whoop. to the office. <laughs> and we got an okay car, It was probably the best of the bunch. Yeah. It's only got like 13,000 miles on it, so it's fairly nice. It's smaller than the just one we bit, had in um, Hawaii. Just a bit dirty, but it's got plenty of room for all the luggage. And we're about 45 minutes away now from Disney. Yeah. So, just a couple of tips when you're renting the car. We know we covered these before, but when you get to the car, just video it. Just quickly run around with your phone or camera and just video around the front just to see if there's any damage. Really good to make sure. You don't want to be worrying about all that stress when you can shop the car off. No. We're using Google Maps and it's working absolutely fine. It actually has Apple CarPlay in here, so we can stream it onto the TV screen if we wanted to. We're not at the moment. But yeah, that's a tip. That was one more thing, but I can't remember. We did the fuel service option. So for us, it was $91 for the car, which is quite expensive, mm -hmm. but gas is pricey here. Um, they just meant we haven't got to worry about filling up anywhere where we don't know the area. So we've not really got any plans for when we get to Disney. No, we kind of said to ourselves that we might go into the park, but it all was dependent on what time we landed, traffic, i.e. now, yeah. and how we were feeling when we got to the hotel. We didn't put didn't want to put any pressure on ourselves, did we, to do no. something specific when we arrived? But the parks are open really late tonight till midnight. Um, obviously, we've only had about four hours of sleep last night. Rich has topped up, but <laughs> I haven't, but I don't mind. Um, I'm thinking, we were talking maybe, because we've only got one more day left on our Disney ticket. Yeah. So if we did go in today, it would mean tomorrow we'd have to buy another ticket, which is $150 for a hopper. So we need to just weigh that up. Yeah. How much we want to do it. The weather tomorrow is looking not great at all. It's going to rain all then morning. You looked at the weather and maybe in the afternoon it'll brighten up. Might uh, brighten up in the afternoon. So yeah, so we're going to have a little see how we feel when we get to the hotel. We'll check it into the Grand Californian again. So really good. And we'll get our luggage, get changed, and then just see what time it is and yep. just go from there. We can see Disneyland Drive on there. We're getting close. Closer. At last. We're coming into Disney. Disney, we're back. Disneyland signs. We can see Galaxy's Edge up ahead. We're here. We've actually arrived. I love it. Disneyland. There's one of the parking garages. Galaxy's Edge is over there. And there's the Disneyland Hotel. So Disney's California. Grand California. Grand California. 
<laughs> it's up on the left. Downtown Disney. It's all coming back now. We're going underneath the downtown Disney walkway with the Lego store. Love it. And you've got the Disneyland Hotel. Should be somewhere there. Yeah. And here we go into the Grand Californian. And there's Disney's Paradise Pier. So they're all really close together. They are really close together, aren't they? But that's the one we're staying in. Yeah. I'm so happy to be back. So cool. There it is, Disneyland Hotel. Here it is, there's the sign. Look at that. Self-parking is across the street, but we are gonna go and check in first, get our bags taken. I'm gonna go and check in and Rich's gonna walk over with you. I'm getting greeted by this kind man here. Okay, so I've dropped Luke off at the uh, lobby and I've just literally gone right round back to where we came into the hotel car park and I've gone straight across the road and there is self-parking, super easy, just take a ticket and the actual lady on the gates recognised that we were part of the Grand Californian Hotel, so it's super easy, so I'm going to go meet Luke now and uh, check in. <laughs> five one six this time yeah which is on the fourth floor so as you come in you've got the bathroom to the right so you've got really nice Disney toiletries and the sink and in the cupboard we've got Open the cupboard. Mm -hmm. robes two robes got the safe and obviously plenty of hanging space iron and ironing board also you get a laundry basket and extra pillows mm -hmm. and if you turn around you can see the bathroom here's the bathroom here so you've got a shower and you've got some Disney soap there. So it's nice. Plenty of towels. Down here you get the hair dryer. And then nothing in there. Uh, just uh, as a footstool for the kids. The kitchenette area, because this is a DVC studio, so you get some additional things. You get a fridge. This one's got a clear door this time. Yeah. Um, you've got a toaster, coffee machine, and you get a microwave. And up here. It's all your cutlery. And then up here should be some more cups. And yeah, you've got your cups, glasses. So it's all very well catered for. Some tissues there. And then you've got the main room here. So it comes with a queen bed and a pull out sofa bed as well. So, really, really nice room. Nice big TV. Big TV with Disney Channel. We've got some drawers under the TV, which is quite substantial. Yeah, the decent size they are. Sizes. A nice picture on the wall here and sockets wise there isn't a, there's a lack of sockets around the bed but you can unplug from down there which is fine there are some sockets over here by the table and then this time let's have a look at our view <laughs> facing a slightly different way but you can hear Disney that is literally Disney's California Adventure right there and we can see the pool and the credit poster is just to the right just around there. So very cool. So we're nicely settled in our room now. We're just waiting for luggage bell services to bring luggage up. Yes. So we can get some clothes and get changed. Just freshen up, ready for the park. Yeah, we're gonna head into California Adventure. We're mm -hmm. gonna have some dinner at it's next to Soarin. We'll figure out the name The name escapes us right now. <laughs> but it's got a good menu. And I think we're gonna go to Bing Bong's to get some churro toffee because that stuff was so good. Yeah. And then we'll just see what rides we can do and then maybe go into the Disneyland Park. Because that, that's open a bit later till 11 o'clock, right? Yeah, yeah. we're just going to see how long we can go until we get too tired. But yeah, excited to get in the park. And yeah. We've done a quick turnaround <laughs> and we're going. Freshened up. Yes, we're heading out. We look rough as hell, but <laughs> we don't care. We're going to Disney. Disney. Yeah, the carpets have Mickey's. Yeah, and there's one just there. And there. 
all started. It's really strange coming back to the same hotel, isn't it? It's really strange coming back to the same hotel. I don't think we've ever checked into the same hotel within like a space of a week. It's so weird. We were on floor two last time, we're now on floor four. Uh, we think we're actually in the same room as our friends Karen and Rachel had. It's so weird. Because they just, checked out today. We just WhatsApp them um, with a picture of our room number. So we're waiting for them to come back to us and say, that was our room. <laughs> so we're heading now to Disney's California Adventure through the entrance, which is the biggest perk of this part of oh, this yeah, hotel. Um, I don't think the first time I did the entrance, the, the separate entrance, I didn't realise I'd come straight into the park. It's brilliant. And that's the sign we've been waiting to see all day. We're back in the park. And we are literally in the park. We're in the park. Do you look after a ticket? Yeah, Luke's ticket bearer. We're here. Yeah. So we're heading for our dinner now, which is the restaurant right next to Soarin', which we'll tell you the name of it in a few minutes. Yeah. It's called Smoke Jumpers Grill. So apparently they do chicken tenders in here, I'm told by Luke. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna head in and uh, find something to eat. for the 90th cheeseburger. Look at this, it's Mickey shaped cheeseburger. And fries. And Rich has got chicken, chicken tenders. tenders. And that burger was 18.99 and fries were extra. So it's like $20, so it is a lot of money for what it is. There is a toppings bar where Rich has just been to. Just like Peco Bills in Walt Disney World. Yeah. Nice lunch. Very nice. Dinner. Chicken tenders. We're gonna go on Little Mermaid now. Show in 10 minutes. She never walked this way before. Um, we walked down to the Grand Californian, but we've never gone all the way through this way, have we? Nope. So it's I, uh, oh, I really yeah. like that, yeah. You got the uh, helicopter there as well. That helicopter behind me. It's just so weird having a hotel. It's literally there, it's lovely, it's such comfort if you're staying at the hotel. No, you're like, you're just up there. Yeah. Our room is literally one of the ones up here. It's so cool. we kind of get a view of something like this. And we're probably going to do this tomorrow. We said it's going to rain tomorrow, so we may as well do that. And we've got the grizzly bear. Uh -huh. He'll be welcoming us into the ride tomorrow. It's a five minute wait now, it's probably walk on. If you want a day fast, you can easily get one. New territory right now. It's cool. Yeah, so we're just literally going past the grizzly river run. Yeah. So we're going to show you what we're seeing now. That's what our room overlooks. Yep. And we're hopefully going to come down to Little Mermaid around here. Yeah. Old Churro Station. Old oh, Churro Station. We want Churro Toffee. Churro Toffee is what we're hunting for tonight. <laughs> but we know where it is, so that's where we're going to go tonight for our snack. Bing Bong. Bing Bong. So here's the uh, Grizzly River Run Hill Climb. Oh, this is so cool. We haven't seen this bit, but look at all the water coming down. I want to go on this ride. We are so ready for this ride, but tomorrow, probably in the rain. And wait, look, what, look what's around here. Come with me. Pixar Pier. Pixar Piers. This is the other entrance to Pixar Pier. So we've come from the other way before, haven't we? Yeah, we've come around that way. And this is going to be a little moment just here on the right. Oh, I see. It's all coming into perspective now. Obviously, everyone's going to start getting their spot for a lot of colour. And there is Pixar Pier. Beautiful, the lights are starting to come on now. But we are heading into the Little Mermaid, Ariel's undersea adventure. really great views of Pixar here as we're coming into Little Mermaids.
I can't sort of mistake so much mainly in that bag. She loves your bag. Everyone loves your bag. I know. Oh, this is a great story. Then King Triton got all mad which is basically the same as Magic Kingdom and Water World. Yes, very nice though. Yes. And we're going to head round now to Bing Bong and we'll see if the Mickey wheel is still taking people. Yes. We think it's shut for half day, so we're not really too sure. We'll see. This is very similar to a ride in Tokyo Disney Sea inside the Mermaid Lagoon. Oh yeah. But also the um, parachute drop. Toy Soldier Parachute Drop. It's really cool night all out. That's one thing we would say about Paradise Pier. It's definitely check it out in the day and the night because it gives like a whole they, new perception. When they turn the lights on, it's very different. Yeah, very different. But we're just going to um, we're heading to Bing Bong for some churro toffee. Which we have become a little bit addicted to. We had rave reviews about it before we came here and we're it's like, delicious. now we know why. And churro gonna, toffee. I'm um, just heading to Pixar Pier now. We're also going to go on Mickey's Fun there. Before I change my mind. It's not called Mickey's Fun Hall, but I keep calling it that. <laughs> We're gonna go with it. Called Pixar Pal Around Swinging. It's showing 20 minutes. Swinging. <laughs> Here we go. Today on the Chura Toffee, they sold out today. So we're gonna hope for tomorrow that they have some in stock. Unfortunately, like uh, Bing Bongs were out of churro toffee, and I don't know if they're gonna have any tomorrow. They make it on an as and when basis, so we can't guarantee tomorrow. But we're hoping. We've got a rice crispy tree instead. But the swinging wheel unfortunately closes an hour and a half before. The app shows it closes at nine, and the cast member was like, "I know. I tell everybody this." Um, so yeah, you have to get there an hour and a half before, so I think it would be half seven. Yeah. But the app does not tell you that. So if you're coming for the wheel, an hour and a half before World of Colour. So we're now going to try and find something else. Yes. Okay, after Pixar Pier, we're heading into Cars Land. And what's Welcome this ride? To Radiant Springs. Welcome to Radiant Springs. And what's this ride on the left here, Luke? Uh, this is called Matus Junkyard Jamboree. Matus Junkyard Jamboree. I can't see where the entrance actually is. We need to find it. <laughs> it's only posting 20 minutes. That's really cool, isn't it? So cool. Hey, 
Right, let's try and find a tractor. Where's one that's free? This one? Yeah. Okay. Look how cute it is. It's so cute. We're gonna go. So we're just waiting to go now. I'm excited for this. I am as well. I'm gonna swing into you. No. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> oh, it's quite fast already. Whoa! Wow. This has got some swing to it. Whoa! <laughs> Are we done? No, we're not done. <laughs> Look at my ears, it's <laughs> so bad. <laughs> oh, so I gotta grab one to not kill Rich. <laughs> oh, I did enjoy that. That was so good. Uh, okay. That's one way to describe it. Fun. Fun.